Boston Tone 78. It's the third Tom Schultz or Boston Tone. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see if we change anything. All right. Uh, the amp still stays okay. Everything so far stays the same on the on the amp to blow right by this. So again, high stack 85 uh, gain. That's the 85 level of 62. Base 65, middle 92, treble zero, present zero. Uh, what else? T comp zero on. Uh, compressor on. Anything changing? Sustain 60, attack 58. Tone plus 30, um, effect level 40, my battery may go down, so I want to hurry up with this video. What else? Again, we have no overdrive distortion pedals, so turn that off. Let's see if the EQ stays the same. Oh, I'm sorry, the noise gate is still at 52, we're fine, right in the middle. Alright, let's check out the uh, EQ, see if we're making any tweaks. Low gain minus 14, high gain plus 18, effect level minus 4, that stays the same. So, so far the EQ is fine. Uh, low mid frequency is going to be 500. Low mid Q, 16. Low mid gain plus 20. So far, so good. Uh, what else? High mid frequency, 500. High mid Q, 1. High mid gain plus 13. So far, so good. Uh, low cut, 800. High cut, all right, let's see what we're going to do differently. All right, so we're done with the EQ. EQ stays the same, right? We're in the chorus. Let's see if the chorus changed. No, the chorus is still fine. Look. Yeah, the chorus is still the same. So, okay, here's what it is. Uh, Boston 78 adds the delay for the for the lead. All right, so that's what we're going to do. So, so far, the chorus. Stereo mode, rate 40, depth 50, and the effect level at 100. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not here to play Tom Show, so you can't come for me. You can't come for me. Alright, so the chorus stays the same. So what we're going to be doing now is we're going to be adding delay for the lead. So this will be Tom Schultz's lead. So any lead that you do for Tom Schultz, add this delay. Alright, here we go. So I have my milliseconds at 175. Okay, for the delay, the Tom Schultz lead delay, 175. Let's see, uh, I missed it. Let's see, 75. Uh, feedback will be at zero. The high cut will be at flat, and the effect level will be at 88 is the, lead, uh, the delay. I'm sorry. Let's see, before and after. So here it is, the Tom Schultz lead tone with the, without delay. <laughs> Tom Schultz. So just pretend it's a Tom Schultz. <laughs> you know what? It's okay. Yeah, I suck. So I'll put it up there. Can you do better? I don't think so because you're watching me. <laughs> you get the idea. <laughs> That's so bad, but I'm gonna leave it in there. Because you know what? I make mistakes and so do you. But mine's on film, you're all hiding it. Alright, here we go. Hold on, Pippi. I have to let Pippi out real soon. Alright, so let's turn on the delay for the Tom Schultz. <laughs> it sounds really good if you know how to play a solo. Okay, I'm gonna
So the reverse is the same. So all we did, we added a delay for the beautiful Tom Schultz lead playing. <laughs> I just call it Boston 78, but that's the lead tone. I wish I could play the lead, but I can't. But that is the delay for the lead. So whenever you play a Tom Schultz solo, use the Boston 78 tone patch for the solo. You want to beef up the rhythm, use the Boston 77, which is all chorusy. You want to play standard rhythm for Boston, use the Boston 76. Lastly, we're going to go with the Boston 79, and that is the flanger one. All right, so let's go ahead and do that one. Yeah! <laughs>